Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Ali. I'm excited to bring this tutorial to you today because uh, many people have been asking about it on the forums, also in comments. Uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to properly pack resources into your jar file and the way, the sort of structure you can make and you could sort of build this around your already existing project and we're going to create a class that loads images and it's basically going to make your life with loading stuff like images a lot easier because it will perfectly load it for when you're just in the IDE and previewing it and then when you're finished and you export it as a jar file every image that you need and every audio clip all your resources will be there so without further ado let's start so I'm in Eclipse right now if we go to new project and Java project I'm just gonna name this simple hit finish and now in our simple project you can see we've got the default Java libraries and we've also got the source folder now the source folder obviously contains all of our uh, class files and I'm just gonna make a main class file with J frame in it because that's gonna be our kind of uh, test it's gonna be our kind of test main class for this project so Java X dot swing dot J frame and I'm just gonna pause the video whilst I make this class Alright, so here we go. Say we've got this uh, main class here, and all I'm doing is drawing this image i. Uh, at the moment it's equal to null, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a class that loads resources, and um, also the way we're going to build it means that when we pack it as a jar file, it's going to include all the... F all the it, it's going to include the images correctly. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a new source folder here, but more importantly we need Eclipse to know that it's a package that needs to be included when the project is built. So the way we do this is if we right click on our project and then click properties, um, in the Java build path and then in source here you can see we have the SRC folder which is our all of our source files. So click add folder at the side and then create new folder and then I'm going to call this folder res for resources and you can hit finish and then make sure it's checked up there and you can hit OK. So now we have a new folder on the build path called res and this is going to hold all of our resources and I'm going to open this um, wait that's the wrong thing I'm going to pause the video quick as you can see in the workspace in the project folder for this project I'm doing now you can see we've got a new folder called res and I'm gonna create a new folder in here called images and maybe you'd have one for audio and etc etc so inside this res folder we're actually gonna create a class called resource loader and it's going to make sure we load all the images relative to that class and that they're all packed properly so um, before we do that I'm going to show you how we do what we just did in NetBeans so if you go to NetBeans and right click on your project uh, you can hit properties and then it's in the first one sources up here and you can I've, I already did this earlier as a test but I'll show you how to now if you go into this bit here you can click add folder and then you can hit new folder if you haven't already but select your resources folder and hit open and then you could give it a label such as resources and hit enter and OK and you can see that it appears down here and after that everything else between NetBeans and Eclipse is exactly the same so that's how you add the source folders for each of the different IDEs uh, so now in here in the res folder I'm gonna just refresh this quickly because we made new folders where's refresh there we go alright so as well as our audio and images we're gonna create a new um, let's see class called resource loader and uh, keep it out of any packages keep it in the default package because we want it to be available globally to all of our classes whatever package they're in and also it would kind of mess up the whole point of making the images relative to that class thing to the resource loader class so load this now and how we're going to build this is we're going to have static methods so when the way we retrieve um, images using static using a URL is by accessing it 
accessing the resource loader class and then we say get resource and then that will grab a, the image or audio or whatever so first thing is we need to make a static instance of this resource loader rl equals new resource loader and you'll see why we need it to be static in just a second it's because we're making static methods not void image because we want to return an image and when it's is it gonna let me import this alright I'll have to do that manually there we go so pub public static image get image and all we need is a file name so string file name and then this is how we do it we're gonna return the method is gonna return a the toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get image and then this takes a URL as a parameter we're not going to use the string we're going to use a URL and to get the URL we're going to say RL which was the static instance we made here and we're going to say dot get class dot get resource and then we're going to simply say images slash and then plus the file name and this works because when we grab the default toolkit and tell it to get an image, it's going to get an image from whatever URL we specify. And the URL we specify is uh, this class, just a static instance up here. And again, we need to make a new static instance of it because we can't access, we can't use the this keyword because uh, the class isn't static. Um, so we make we access the new instance of it, get the class, and call get resource. And because the class is located here in the res folder, because it's loaded, located right here, when we load images, we need to say images slash and then the file name. And I don't have an image in here at the moment, but I will get one off the internet. And I'll probably do that right now just as a test. All right, so I downloaded the Java logo as an image. And what time are we on? Seven minutes. Uh, yeah, I downloaded the... Java logo as a JPEG image and it's inside the res folder inside images and it's right there so back in Eclipse we can now see if we refresh this refresh we can see that we have our java.jpg in here and now because we've built this method already built this class we can come back into test and we can set image to resource loader dot get image and all we need to specify is the file name because uh, it's inside the images folder already, so java.jpg. And now if we hit run, we can see we have the Java image. Uh, it's kind of off the screen. I'll set the coordinates to maybe zero, 0, and hit run. And there it is, perfectly loaded into our thing. And now I'm going to show you that it works with extracting it as a jar file as well. So in case you didn't know how to extract it already, in Eclipse, you go to File and Export. Um, in NetBeans, it's even simpler. It's just this button up here called uh, Clean and Build Made Project. You click that, and then it appears inside a folder called Dist inside the NetBeans project folder. So that's how you do it in NetBeans. In Eclipse, it's a little more complicated. You go to Export, and then go to Java, Runnable Jar File, hit Next. And for the launch configuration, you have to select this uh, thing and make sure you have the correct make sure you have your project selected and the correct main class selected otherwise you're gonna get an error and select where you want to extract it to and hit finish and there may be warnings uh, in my case the warnings are here and here uh, but warnings don't really matter it's errors you're looking for and now that we have this simple jar file here I can double click on it and proudly present that you still have the jar file perfectly displayed and I'll show you inside the jar file if I open it with WinRAR you can see that we have our test class and our resource loader class and in, inside this whole thing as well we have our images folder with the Java JPEG inside and the reason it's loaded that in is because when it compiled it all and built it uh, it saw that we were getting the resource via a URL and it's packed it in there with it so hopefully that clears everything up for everyone who's been asking this question uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful, guys. Uh, the source code will be in the description, uh, the complete source code. So 
Uh, if you haven't been following along, then you won't need to because I'll copy and paste this exactly as it is. Uh, I might add some more methods for loading audio or something like that, but I'm sure you guys can manage that by yourself. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for more, and I will see you next time, guys. So, see you later.